Hey, what's up, everyone? It's RC Poetic Soul today, and it's a rainy day, chilly day out. And I just want to ask you guys to please, before I start the video, to ask you guys to please subscribe to the channel. Please be kind and subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that bell. Get the notifications for when new content drops. And you'll be there. You'll be here. In any event, you know, I hope you guys are having a good holiday season thus far. Um, I hope everyone with kids is doing all right, and the kids are as well. Um, every day, um, I just pray for the kids all across the world, and you know, for yours and mine. It's a, uh, it's somewhat of a, uh, it it can be a stressful time on the holiday season. Most definitely, it can be. Um, it's somewhat of a, uh, it's always a humbling, humbling moment for me, just to be gracious to still be here. And just thankful for who is still here. Um, for for me, for myself, um, sometimes I get stuck deep in those shadows of regret. Um, and regret can it can undo it can be anybody's undoing and ungluing. It can basically just shred all your confidence for you know future endeavors. So when you when you live in regrets and when you feel like you're stuck in the shadow of them it can be extremely dangerous and if anyone if anyone doesn't have regrets they're probably lying and well they are but the thing is you just have to to, to move forward in such a positive state that you know that even though you can't undo what has been done that no matter what it is you know you can move forward and, and build something with yourself first and foremost and then maybe you can build you know other relationships here and there they don't have to be um always physical they can be mental relationships that you can build um be it with uh co-workers or people that you may come come in contact with at maybe gyms or restaurants or you know wherever libraries wherever you are but for me myself i'm just hoping that someone out there may understand because sometimes I, I just try to gauge what people may uh, want to hear besides what I want to tell and you know sometimes I want to talk about this sometimes I want to talk about that but today you know it's all about regrets and we we all have them and I think for me personally um, that's probably one of my biggest um, setbacks if not just um, stopgap for me. It's kind of like, well, how do I overcome something? And the only way for you to truly overcome something, and if that's something that's regrets, the only way to truly get over the hump would be for you to just leave it where it is. You can't do anything about it. Let's say you, you know, this, and there's, and there's consequences to every regret. Of course there are. Let's say that you robbed the bank and you regretted it. Well, unfortunately, you're going to have to probably get caught and then you're going to have to serve your time and then you will have to somehow leave it behind you. You must if you want to move forward. Um, let's say you got out of an extremely bad relationship and you regret the way that you or her, him or her or whoever, you regret how they acted or you regret how you acted. Well, you can't change it. If you can't undo it, if you if you're not able to to make something better, then you just need to let it go, because a lot of times we beat ourselves over the head. Um, one of the best things I ever heard, I, I think it was in some motivational video um, the the guy told the other guy, hey, man, stop. Take the take the bat out of your hand and start beating yourself with a feather. And just think about that. A lot of us, we just beat on ourselves uncontrollably. And, you know, we're our own worst enemy. And there's nothing wrong with that. Being your own worst enemy just because you are your own worst critic. And in terms of you being your own worst enemy, you know, you just, you battling yourself. And we all have that battle. Some of us will admit it. Some of us won't. But see, when it comes to me and regrets, they've led me to some some pretty dark places and dark dark thoughts. But... Also, in it, I have understood that I can come back from it. I may not be able to fully um, 
park that regret and leave it where it should be. But I've understood that I'm able to somewhat sustain myself and thinking more positive than negative, you know? So if you have regrets, you can get past them. The worst thing you can do with regrets is to give in to the voice or give in to the thoughts that tell you to act negatively upon the regret because that only compounds the matter. That only can make a situation worse. You can go from just having been in a dark place with depression to find yourself incarcerated if you would allow yourself your regrets to get to you. You can go in a place from dark thoughts to just feeling down to just now having uh, committed suicide just because you could not get over the regret. And we must. And if we can't, we have to fight it. We have to meet ourselves halfway. There is a way to sustain. There is a reason to sustain. And no matter what, there is a reason. There is something. And if it's not for your kids and if it's not for yourself, you have something to hold on for. And if there's nothing else, if your if your regrets are that big of a of an enemy, a, that big of a obstacle for you, then you just need to seek outside help, professional help, which may be something you want to do regardless. But I'm here to shoot this video with you guys because I battle them all the time. They always pumping and racing through my head. But you know, I can't let them subdue me. I can't let them win. No. Regrets. There's something that everyone has. And there are things that we can do now to make sure that we don't have regrets later on in life as well. So this is Poetic Soul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. And with that being said, I am gone. Y'all have a great day. Peace.